are you all today? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you 8 useful tips to dress better. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and check out my recent videos there and there. Unfortunately, because of the pandemic, there have been a lot of changes to our post-in fashion. We have been living in large wear and online shopping more than ever before. If you have a concern about what you wear each day, I highly recommend to check out my two videos. By the way, I'm a fashion fanatic and have a qualification in personal style. Therefore, my first tip is holding on to old clothes and no panic buying. What I'm saying is you can replicate personal style that you like from magazines or online to and then to restyle the fashion pieces that you own. For example, if I wanted to restyle the blazer that I bought two years ago, I would look up on Instagram or Pinterest and search outfit inspiration on the search bar and or type in the name of the fashion item like blazer. Check out the pictures. There are various examples of personal styles to feel the ideal form. My tip number two is don't buy something just for one purpose. What I mean is, when you buy a top, a dress or a trousers, try to have different ideas about the dress, the top or the trousers can go with different outfits before you go to the counter and pay for it. Purchasing something simple and more classic so you can wear it again, again and again. My tip number three is, don't underestimate the power of color. A lot of you like to stick to neutral color, like black or white, gray or navy. Even if you are not the type to wear color, you can try to use color to enhance your outfit, like brown, burgundy, green and cream, or camel and brushes that incorporate neutrals. Also, how you use color is a great way to tie together the power of fashion. Dark shades like brown or black or grey seen as more formal, bright and pastel shades seen as more casual. So it depends on how you want to be seen to dress different color, to dress different body shape and to help to dress better style, if that makes sense. Tip number four, find your style right. I'm not sure about you, but whenever I go for a haircut, I would love to show my hairdresser a picture of someone with my ideal cut. I will apply the same logic to my outfit. So I will follow the style icon account and open folders for easy inspiration. So whenever I get stuck on the day about what to wear, I would open the folder and get inspiration from there. And accounts like Rihanna, Alexa Chung, and some fashion model accounts I like to follow. Number five, understand how to dress our shape. In my last video here, I've mentioned about body shape. So if you want me to talk about this more, please leave the comments under this video. And I will make another video to talk more about it in detail. Most of the girls' body types either in figure one or figure three. Figure one girls have straight line shoulder, flat hips and muscles at the flat means no curves in this body and this is known as angular line. Girls with angular line should look for clean long vertical line along with some tailoring to provide sharpness. Long and straight trousers coats and dresses are great. Keep your silhouette simple, strict and clear with very little detail and little color to no color blocking to help with highlight your vertical line. Monochromatic color scheme works best for you. The line of the body in figure 3 is with rounded line shoulder, curved hip and muscles at the hip. Balancing body proportion is very important in this body type. Therefore, look for pants with wide high waists to further emphasize the weight. Also, wear details on bottom to help achieve this balance. 
My kid will look sexy. Không phải không phải. Every time when I'm planning an outfit, I will check the weather fast and activity and see what I will be doing on the day. If my day was mainly the play day and I will be outside with my daughter all day, then I will choose something comfortable like wearing a trainless or fresh shoes to make sure that my feet are comfortable and warm. Tip number seven, organize your wardrobe. I do clear out my wardrobe every new season. That helps to free up some spaces for new clothes, new season, just in case I need to add some new pieces to update my wardrobe. And this is a good chance to look at what to think in our wardrobe. If we spend with our hectic life every day, we will forget some of our great pieces that haven't seen the light of day for years. After all, how can you create a great outfit if you can't see what you want? I know it's obvious, but if you have a clear out or declutter, you will know what's in there, and this will prevent you from accidentally buy things you don't need and fix those nothing to wear moments. My last and my favorite tip is make the season. Pick some of the more accessible pieces from each season and matching them with the others. You can see some new life into your style. Picking clothes from summer and layering them up on winter clothes works well. For example, I like to wear light to color summer pieces underneath darker outfits. And this build on layering can create a shit look. Styling clothing from different seasons is a great way to style the clothes that you already own. As far as I'm concerned, wearing what makes you feel like or what makes you feel like you is the basic to dress better in 2022. I'm not to follow the rules what you should be wearing or what not. I'm also here to broadcast about information. So hope those information help. And if you find this video helpful, please give this a like or maybe a little. See you next time. Bye bye.